Hello? I'm Dr. Rachel Meadows, and... Wait a moment, it's you! I can't believe you dare show your face around here again! <laughs> wasn't me. I just look like him. Are you serious? That's what you're going with? Please! I'm trying to stop him. You saw those shadow things trying to kill me, right? I bet he got along with them just fine. Yes. Yes, he did. All right. Come on in. Thank you. to talk to you. There's a party next door. I'm feeling pretty good right now. A little beer, a little fun, you know? It's nice. Listen, this whole thing between us, it's a little weird for me too, you know? I mean, we don't just look the same. There's a lot we share. I mean, up here. I know you, right? So I was thinking maybe we could... These guys are getting out of control. Look... I feel like we're both victims of circumstance here. And maybe we could make some kind of effort to... Never mind. Just a moment, I'll send the lift down to you. I didn't expect to see anyone here tonight, but I'm relieved to see an actual person. That's assuming this isn't some kind of cruel trick on your part, of course.
Doctor, the man who looked like me, what did he want here? There's a strange astronomical event happening right now, something I can't begin to classify, but I think it's disabled our satellite. There's a very peculiar signal that we're receiving. A signal? That's what I'm here for. Well, so was he. But he didn't seem to understand it at all. He got very angry, sabotaged our imaging array, and now we're blind. I believe the event is still going on, but we can't pick it up. Is there something we can do? What he broke is essentially just a special camera, but we can't use the telescope without it. There's a replacement in my car. If you can get that to me, we're back in business. Consider it done. Tell me more about the signal. It's almost as if something's being transmitted to Night Springs. It's the strangest thing. It's quite elusive, almost as if it wasn't properly there. I don't know how to describe it. So, what was the signal like? I wish I knew. He appeared before I had a good fix on it. He was very pleasant when I was working, but when I isolated the signal, he suddenly forced me out of the control booth. He said it was none of my business. He seemed to... to change. Somehow, he... He was very smooth and charming before that, but suddenly he became... I'm sorry. I'm not sure I want to talk about it. I have to ask, do you always wear that to work? I was at a party for a local art exhibition. Fascinating works. When I was called away by my assistant, Michael was the first to spot this event. I don't know where he is now, actually. He was supposed to bring us some food, but he never showed up. Tell me about the event. Oh, it's quite fascinating. It looks as if stars were changing, somehow. Or shifting positions. It isn't really happening, of course. Most likely it's caused by some kind of atmospheric refraction phenomenon. But I've never seen anything like it. Did he hurt you? No. He didn't quite threaten me exactly. But those shadowy things started to crawl into view. And whatever the signal was, he seemed to be extremely frustrated by it. He just started breaking things and left. I thought it best not to interfere. You were lucky. He's done much worse. Yes. He showed me a knife, and he kept talking. He enjoyed the sound of his own voice. A proper maniac. You really aren't anything like him, are you? Believe me, I try very hard not to be. Try to be careful. It's a very expensive part, and we don't have a replacement. Oh dear, that sounded more callous than I intended. Ah, uh, be safe.
This must be her car. Found it! Excellent. I'll operate the platform directly below the telescope so you can install the array. Don't worry, it's very easy. Now what? Well, you could go and open the secondary coolant flow valves manually. I know it's dangerous there, but, well... I got it! Please come talk to me if you have questions. There's something I should know about this coolant thing? Oh no, it's quite straightforward. The telescope is very heavy, and moving it generates a lot of heat. So do all of the electronics. Overheating could cause damage, so it shuts down automatically if the coolant fluid isn't flowing. And hot electronics generate instrument noise, which we want to eliminate as much as possible. What is this coolant anyway? Is it dangerous? We use liquid nitrogen. It's quite safe. If I can make it to the valves in one piece. Yes, there is that. Good luck. I'm assuming you didn't have this kind of trouble using the telescope earlier, when my double was here. No, it went very smoothly. Until he turned into a nutter. This doppelganger of yours doesn't seem to want anyone else to look at this phenomenon. Honestly, it seems a little pointless to me. There are many eyes on the sky. I'm not sure what we're gonna get once this thing is working again, but I have a hunch. I doubt it has anything to do with outer space, or that anyone else can see it. I think it's a message for me. For you? That seems unlikely. And even if it were a very localized phenomenon, surely it's visible to others in the area. Maybe. But I wouldn't bet on it. There's a reason he came here, and a reason he doesn't want me looking at it.
Just remember, you need to release all three valves. It doesn't matter what order you do it in. should do it. All the valves, Doctor. Is it working? Just bear with me a moment. Yes, I believe you've got it sorted. It's working again. Nicely done. That sounds like trouble. I don't think they're happy with our success. Look out, they found a way in. Sighted in now. 
I still have no idea what I'm looking at, but it's very strange, very strange indeed. Oh, where are my manners? Please, come on up. I'm sorry, I was distracted. receiving the signal now. Oh yes, it's coming in loud and clear. It's amazing. I'm not sure what it is yet, let alone where it's coming from, but it's interacting with our system somehow, like it was intended for us. But I don't understand how that could be. Maybe that's just how the story goes. What? Never mind. Is there a way I can hear it, or however this is supposed to work? I think the signal is incomplete somehow, but you should be getting a printout of it now. What do you mean it's incomplete? It's almost as if we're only getting a fragment of it. I need the whole thing. This is important. I'm sure it is, but this is all we're getting. Did the man who looks like me get the whole thing? He locked me out of the booth, so I have no way of knowing. But I can tell you that he didn't really seem to understand it. So, what's in the sky? It doesn't make any sense. The stars are just... they're wrong. I thought I'd be able to see something, but it's like I'm looking at a sky that's just... It's not the right sky. But that's impossible. I consider myself a rational man, Doctor. But this isn't a thing you can measure or explain. I I've seen impossible things that have taught me just to roll with some punches. It's either that, or go insane. I find it disturbing that you sound like you're speaking from ample experience. A printout of a signal. It too is a weapon created by the champion of light. In its words, stirs a new reality. But it is incomplete. And yet, it provides a roadmap for the man to follow. A course that will lead him to a place where he may confront his enemy. The drive-in. Once the site of lurid celluloid fantasies, it's now the site of an art exhibition. And yet, it's the search for closure rather than culture that brings the champion of light here.
It's you. Mmm, that's fantastic. Are you okay? Go away. No, I want you. But you'll get angry if you're here. So you gotta go. You know I'll do what you want. Okay. I... I love you so much. Did you know that love hurts? Are you gonna hurt me now? Cause you should. Lady, you got darkness on the brain. I, I think I can help you if I can get the lights on in here. You can't turn the power back on. It's not allowed. You said. So, where shouldn't I go so I don't turn the power back on? Accidentally. It's... The big building on the other side of the drive-in, but it's locked. Where's the key? Just so that I know to avoid it. It's... it's on the wall next to the cash register. But you can't. You can't. Don't be bad. Hey, no problem. I'm just gonna go do some other stuff. Scout's honor. Mmm... <laughs> Just try to stay calm. I I've seen this kind of thing before. I think you're gonna be okay. Why did I... Why is it so hard to think? You've been touched by darkness. It's... I'm hoping it's not permanent. Remember when you were here before? And you kissed me? And then everything got all dark? That was the best. Listen, this is very important. Where did he... I mean... Where did I go? Can you tell me that? Baby, you don't need to go anywhere. You're here now, and you're in my head. You should be in me. You should touch me again. Not with a ten-foot pole, lady. Hey, just in case there's a part of you in there that's freaking out right now, it's not your fault. I promise I'll do what I can to help you, okay? I... I don't... Please go away. Don't sweat it. I'm just saying that, in case you really need to hear it, I've been there. I... I think there are spiders in my eyes. I think you put them in me. Yeah, I'm just gonna go now. of Asgard and their manager, Barry Wheeler. Guys, you're on your comeback tour, and you're playing a lot of your classic material, but you've also got a new single out, right? How'd that come about? Was it hard to go back into the studio after such a long time? Are you kidding me? They were chomping at the bit. They were just itching to stretch those creative muscles. Now, it had been a while because, uh, you know, they, they spent a lot of time in, uh... Retirement. We were retired. We were? Yeah. No, 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 no. We were at the lodge, and, uh, we escaped. We were at the retirement, uh... Thing, retirement thing. Yeah, yeah. So, uh, you know, really, once we got in the studio, things started happening. Now, the music has changed a little bit, and the boys were a little rusty, so it took us a while to find the right gear, but hey, once we got going, oh, boy, they kicked ass. And it's an awesome song. It's called Balance Slays the Demon, and seriously, I think it's their finest work. And hey, I should know, I produced it. Oh, really? I didn't know you were a producer. Well, this is my first time. I mean, they needed a little bit of guidance, you know what I mean? I mean, don't get me wrong, these guys are the best. But it's the 21st century, man. Things just sound a little different these days. So, you know, I kind of stepped in there, helped them make it sound all cool, kind of jazzed it up. <laughs> that sounds like a challenge. Oh, no, it was really easy, man. I was just, you know, like, hey, give it a little zing, you know? Let's take it to another level so it really rips. Uh, you know, let's just throw some really sweet synths in. Like that, you know, just kicked it up a notch, but it's totally Old Gods. Well, listeners, you can judge for yourselves. Here's Old Gods of Asgard, and Balance Slays the Demon. Oh, yeah! Deep in the ocean of darkness, in the mirror of light, Balance becomes a stranger, and in your fantasies, he rides a storm.
has encountered this before. People whose integrity has been suborned by the insidious touch of the darkness. He has experienced it himself, but merciful light burned away the darkness in his brain. Good. Mr. Hero's here! You ready to save the day? 